What is a uh, uh, YouTube? <laughs> Sorry about that. I wanted to do something different on this intro, but I'm just going to stick with my normal intro. What is up, Andrew? It is YouTube here. We are back with another PayPal request. This one is for Tim. Hey, Andrew, I've made a YouTube request and done the PayPal. Thank you, Tim. There's a new kid supergroup out that's made up of several YouTube legends, including Yoyoka, Alan Plays Bass, to name a few. They just released a killer cover of Muse Hysteria, and it rocks. It's even better than the original. Please react. I will certainly do that for you, my friend Tim. And when you said Alan and Yoyoka in a band, it made me think back a couple of years ago, I did a video on The Ocean, and that was a, a young... Uh, people's band made up of Alan, Eva, Matteo and Yoyoka. So I don't know if you caught that one, but I'll link to that one in the description of the video. So if you are interested in these players and these um, younger rockers, please do go along and check it out. With that said, this one is on Yoyoka's channel. Please do go along, support her, hit subscribe, original video link as always in the description of the video. And with that said, let's check it out. Straight away the time and tone. All female men.
I don't know how this has happened, but honestly, and I always want to be transparent and open on this channel, I wasn't sub sub subscribed to you, Yoka. How dare you? She must have a new channel. I'm sure I'm subscribed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hit subscribe anyway. Um, okay, I'm just going to go. Oh, there's so many things going through my mind that I want to um, mention, but just let's quickly go through the lineup. Actually, I'll link all these people. There's all these this info. I'll link it in the description of my video as well. So please do go along and support these um, young stars. Vinya, excuse my pronunciation. Hopefully, I'm getting this somewhat right. Vinya Chab Chabra, age 13 from New Jersey on vocals. Bass, Alan. Uh, all of these names are difficult. Hey, I'm just, hey, I'm a Kiwi. I'm in New Zealand. I don't, these are fancy names. Alan Alaverdian. <laughs> Age 11 from Las Vegas. 11. Playing the bass like that at 11. My God. Yoyoka Soma, age 14 from Japan. She's still only 14. When was this video from? Very recent. Uh, okay, we've got Guitar Bay Melnik Vir Virjolino, mm. aka the only Bay, <laughs> age 9. 9. And you're playing with that kind of pocket, man, and that solo shred. Nine from New York City. Guitar, backing vocals. Charlotte Milstein, age 14 from San Diego. Backing vocals. Ella Milstein, age 16 from San Diego. Right. I've mentioned before on this channel a lot that I've worked with uh, well, a lot of young musicians, been a, been a drum teacher, um, and a lot of bands and mentoring bands working with bands we've got band competitions here um, namely the rock quest and things like battle of the bands a few avenues for young musicians to go down uh, from school school age sort of about 11 onwards you can start accessing those uh, competitions now playing in a competition is not everything like um like a band competition but stick with me the only decent thing about that audition was the end it is an excuse to get a band together. It's an excuse to start playing live. Um, you know, if you needed some encouragement, it's a really good starter, a really good avenue. And one thing I'll always uh, preach to those students and those bands is I'll tell them, you know, we need some mileage here. We need some time not, not practicing anymore. We're not practicing anymore. We're playing. We're not practicing anymore. We're performing. Okay, there's a difference. At home, oh, made a mistake. I'll oh, start again. Oh, made a mistake. You know, go back to start the song. Start that again. I made a mistake. You can't do that live, right? You can't do that in a performance. And I really want to highlight performance here because it is hard to get that mileage without doing the mileage you've, you've really got to earn those stripes and in terms of the performance so the plane is phenomenal I mean these are some I was going to say it, some of the world's best young um, musicians on their axes they're really really phenomenal players um, but the performance just looks so natural so professional so comfortable and that's another thing that I've found with um, younger bands and the whole mileage piece is we need to get you guys looking like you're having fun and <laughs> looking like a band, looking in sync, uh, looking, you know, like you try and think, okay, if I was in the crowd, what would I want to see on the band? And, you know, try and get into that mindset of give a lot of energy to the crowd. What you don't want to do is stand up there and try and get all the notes right because that's a very inward looking thing it's a very internal sort of way of playing that you want to project especially for rock or you know at these band competitions and again band competitions are not everything you don't need to go out and win band competitions to be good musicians it's just i feel like it's a parallel in terms of the ages of the players here and um so you cannot buy that experience that mileage playing ability performance ability everybody just looks so comfortable you know you can tell a bunch of kids you know try you know how do you say it like how 
we want you guys to rock out. We don't want you to overdo it and feel awkward or uncomfortable. Um, we don't want you to completely lose what you're playing either. It's just you, you can't do all this without playing, without working together as a unit. It's just, it's impossible. You can't manufacture it, I'll put it that way. Um, so just to see these young players playing at this level, Yoka's fills and pocket, golden. Alan on base is a star. I'm a bit of a secret bass lover myself. I don't play any bass. I wish I did. Maybe it's the rhythm section connection thing, but it always, good bassist always stands out to me and she is phenomenal. It makes it even more jarring that she's such a <laughs> a little uh, person and that this depth of playing and knowledge comes out and just marking the section so beautifully and just a musical just a professional musical player but everybody vocals sounded great absolutely wonderful vocals even had like the effects going <laughs> like in the original song really faithful cover and really really enjoyable guys as i said original video link in the description of this video and each player's uh link and links to their, I think it was their socials, I'll link in the description as well. Please do go along, support them, and subscribe. It means the world to these young players, and, you know, they're going places. You're, you're going to want to see where these people uh, get to. And one other thing, just thinking back to some of the young players that I've worked with, you know, it's, it's very easy to rag on the you know, the next generation's music and say, oh, these kids, you know, they don't have, you know, what we used to have and, you know, music was so much better in my day. Trust me, <laughs> the really musically inclined kids or the kids who have been brought up in an environment where there is a lot of music getting played perhaps in the house, they've been getting lessons, so teachers have been recommending things, showing them things, they love it. They really love it. And playing instruments, they seem to be, to me, to be more open to some of the older stuff. In fact, you know, even some non-musician younger people are really into older music. Um, not that Muse is, is particularly old, but I'm thinking of students who are really into, like, for example, the Beatles or um, Led Zeppelin or whoever. Metallica is a common one, ACDC. Because it's relevant to the instrument they're playing in a lot of the time, right? And if you listen to the top 10 charts these days, you know, again, I don't want to bag any generation's music. It's just the chart type music. There's not a lot of instruments in it. I mean, drums, straight away, you're going to have an electric program drum part. Um, good luck if you're a guitarist. There's no guitar out there. Um, you occasionally get like a live bass line, like in Dua Lipa stuff and that, you'll get a, you get a live sort of funky style bass line, but, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of these, um, real deal musicians, uh, younger musicians who are, you know, getting lessons and learning and coming up, they're really hip to all the older stuff. So again, um, just phenomenal. Go and support them. If you have a direct reaction request like Tim did on this one, you can hit my PayPal link in the description of the video. I do also have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month. You get access to the blocked videos. And remember you as a subscriber of my channel, you can access a free 30 day trial over at Dromeo. Go get it. Learn from the world's best drummers for free on me for 30 days. Until next time, keep chopping wood. Take it easy.